2K finally did it. <laughs> they finally released some news for 2K21 current gen. We've been waiting for so long for this, and so have I. And guys, before this video continues, let me go ahead and say right now that I know this news came out like what yesterday, and I'm a little bit late to it. But really, in this video, what I'm doing is just dissecting what's you know new in 2K21 for current gen, and giving you guys my opinion on what y'all should do for like, for example, point guards, because this news about some point guards now that's been changed a lot, you know, with current gen. If you ain't already know, so what I'm doing in this video, or in these videos, I might split them up a little bit. What I'm doing in these videos is going over the news for those y'all that haven't seen it yet. And also give my opinion because, you know, really most of y'all have seen this by now. So y'all just, you know, at this point, come in here for my opinion. So in this video, I'm going to be reading over the stuff that's, uh, you know, been talked about with 2K21 current gen. If y'all ain't already seen it, like I said, and also give my opinion. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, for those of y'all that haven't seen this yet, like I said earlier, most of this is for the current gen. So if you want to see something for next gen, you're going to have a little bit of time to wait, but uh, it ain't going to be too long because November right around the corner at this point, you know what I'm saying? We got like, what, two and a half months left? But anyway, now if you didn't see it, Mike Wayne, because this is from Mike Wayne, by the way, but if you didn't see it, Mike Wayne started off by saying, what's up, 2K? Wait a minute, I got to say like Mike Wayne. Hold on. <clears throat> what's up? Yeah, hair, 2K community. <laughs> be stuck. Basically, Mike Wayne was doing the usual, telling y'all that he's excited for the new game coming out for the current gen and next gen and all that stuff. You know, a bunch of nothing, really. So um, anyway, getting to the first thing. All right, first and foremost, to summarize what Mike Wang was saying here, he talked to Damian Lillard and basically Damian said that he wanted to have a bigger point guard for like my career and all that stuff. So now what Mike Wang is saying is that you can have a six foot eight point guard in my career, which means that now <laughs> it's gonna bring back the problem with Demi guys most likely. That's just what I'm thinking. In my opinion, Demi guys is gonna be brought back now <laughs> like how it was 2K15, but um, I don't really know. Cause I mean, there's pros and cons to it because I've been one taller point guards myself but my thing is, if you're going to make a taller point guard, why not make a taller small forward as well? Kevin Durant build. Cause that, that's a build we couldn't make in 2K20 was a Kevin Durant build. I want to be able to make a 6'11 small forward. But then again, that would create a problem with demigods. So, I mean, well, you know what? It might not make a problem with demigods because they could just change the speed up. Because in 2K15 with the demigods, the players are also fast. So, they could just slow the players down this time around with a Kevin Durant build. That's my thought on that. Will they do that? Most likely not because they stubborn. That's how 2K is. Blame Ronnie. I'm playing. Um, but for real though. If they just make it to where you can have a taller small forward as well, that'll be cool. But for what we got for right now, I'm glad with that. You know what I'm saying? We got Penny Hardaway now in the game. Like, we can make Penny Hardaway now. You know, Magic Johnson. Hopefully, you can still speed boost over 6'6 six, six this time around like you did last year. Because we all know 2K has a history of taking out good stuff out of the game for no reason. So, we're going to have to wait and see. But one opinion or recommendation I do have for point guards is don't make LeBron out the gate. Make Penny first. Because if you make LeBron size, you know, a LeBron size point guard, you know how 2K is. Like, I'm pretty sure the way 2K is going to do it is, if you add weight to your 6'8 point guard and make him like LeBron, like 250 or whatever, they're going to make him slower. Because the thing is, 2K didn't mention faster small forwards now, or taller small forwards, which means small forwards are the same. Which means that a heavier point guard will most likely be the same as well, and they'll make him slow, like they did last year when you try to make a LeBron James build. Because in last year's 2K with 2K20, you could make a LeBron James build. So, I would use Penny out the gate after the first patch, see how things go. I would choose a LeBron build after that. But anyway, on to the pro stick. All right, jumping right to the important part. Mike Wayne started off by saying that in past games, you could hold the pro stick in any direction to take the jump shot. That was a limit for us from utilizing the right pro stick as a fully featured double stick. This year, we're making it pretty significant to change how the pro stick is used. Basically that in a nutshell. Now, before y'all even say, I already heard it. Shut up. All right, shut up. Just do me a favor. Shut sure. up. Sure. I done told y'all. I'm giving my opinion, all right? I'm not trying to relay y'all new news. I'm just giving y'all my... I said new news. This ain't ATL. Give me back my... Anyway, I'm giving y'all <laughs> my opinion on this stuff. So, okay. So, anyway, get back to the news. It says, hold the right stick down to do a jump shot. It used to be up or down. I don't know if they really changed that or not. But anyway, it also says... This is what I don't like right here. Hold the right stick left or right to do an escape dribble move. I don't like that at all because it used to be where you should just hold down on the right stick to get away from your opponent because most people play on 2k camera view so assuming you play on absolute and not camera relative then with the escape dribble you should go down on the right stick not left or right it just makes more sense to me now the part i like is what they bring it back hold up on the right stick for signature size ups that's the way it was 2k19 i'm glad they're bringing that back like i said the whole dribbles nobody really uses that like that but i'm just glad they brought it back anyway for you know more variety in the game and more variety in the dribbling then of course tap right stick for quick one to one dribbles onto that changed then of course tap the right stick with sprint hill for quick momentum dribbles i think that's different i'm not really sure don't quote me on that i'm not really certain mike also mentioned dribbling changes like 
street ball moves being changed to a tap of a left trigger also saying the moves a lot more chainable now and then saying stuff like you won't be triggering street ball moves by accident no more which is a lot better than how it was 2k20 thank god also they saying stuff like for NBA dribbles, they added stuff like hard and sides up and Kobe and all that. For all that stuff, you can pause the video if you want to, to read all this stuff if you want to, you can pause the video. But um, for all that stuff, seeing is believing at this point because I remember doing a video last year on 2K20 when they talked about having new sides ups and new signature dribbling animations and all that, like John Stockton's gonna be different than LeBron James and all that. I talked about all that stuff in the earlier video I made last year on 2K20 when they introduced new dribbling animations and new dribble styles. So, you know, like I said, seeing is believing. And when I say seeing this believing, I'm talking about the dribble styles, not the actual changing of the remapping and all that stuff. So just letting y'all know that right now. But one thing I am certain about is that they're trying to bring more variety to dribbling this year and make it more fun, like how it was in 2K19. So I'm just glad about that because finally in 2K21, we'll have better dribbling because 2K20 dribbling was trash. So thank Mike Wayne for that. Now let's go on to the next thing.